Hey, Jerron, you were one of the first uh, players to say, hey, I'm coming back for a super senior season. How early on in the process did you know this is what you wanted to do? Um, I figured pretty pretty early that that's what I wanted to do, and it wasn't a hard decision. Um, I feel like we had unfinished business. And with all this COVID and everything going on, I feel like it was just the best thing to do. How motivated are you to get back out there and um, kind of kind of redeem the defense for the way they finished last season? Super motivated. I feel like we have a lot of young talent that that'll be um, key factors in our defense this year. And and I feel like the guys coming back will uh, provide experience and things like that. And I just feel like it'll go well. You also have welcomed in a couple new players like Russ and, uh, and Julius. What's your first impression of those guys, Ben, and what do you think they can bring to the defense? Um, very key additions. They have experience at where they were. Uh, Russ at Louisville, he had a lot of experience. And Jew coming from Iowa, they, they played a lot of ball. So that'll be very good for our defense. All right. Thanks, Jerome. Thank you. John? Yeah, Jerron, I, I know last year toward the end of the year, Coach Kleiman and a couple of you guys have mentioned just some accountability issues within the locker room and obviously had some guys leave. Just how, how well do you feel like you guys have kind of rectified that and turned that around here at this point? Um, I feel like we're working towards something very special. Um, having a spring is is the biggest thing ever. Um, we didn't have one of those last year. So I feel like that's as great in the going forward and building for our 2021 team. And I feel like that'll be the best thing for us. Having a chance to evaluate kind of your season as a whole personally, um, what did you feel like you did well and, and just how would you kind of grade yourself on last year? Um, I feel like um, emerging and playing strong safety for the first time, I feel like I played it okay. I have a lot of things I need to work on and getting with Coach Klanderman extra in the spring and, and through summer and then eventually the fall, I feel like I can be a way better player than I was last year. How how tough of a taste was it to have in your mouth just the way that last season ended for all you guys? Yeah, it, it was that, – that's the worst taste that you can ever have. Um, nobody wanted to go like that. Um, and and we're working right now, so it doesn't go like that ever again. Appreciate it, Jerome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Derek? Yeah, Jerron, just how much does it feel like uh, – it's you and almost an entire new secondary in there now because a lot of guys that were there last year left and they're bringing in so many new faces and many more to come as well. Um, I feel like we're already clicking together. Um, all, all the new guys, they're already comfortable and, and that's, the, that's the most important thing, welcome, welcoming in new guys and making them feel a part of the family. So I feel like um, it, it won't be much, and we have a spring also. So I feel like those guys will have time to learn the defense and then get adjusted to the, to the new defense. So we'll be good. I know you guys haven't been back that long, but of the new guys or of the younger guys that are back, is there any, any one or two guys you think we'll see more of this year that we may not have last year? Um, I feel like um, TJ Smith, uh, Mars Brown, guys like that, um, young guys that that'll be able to help the defense in, in a lot in a lot of ways. Um, they're athletic, they're pretty smart, and they're they're just hungry. So I feel like those guys um, will, will help us. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think there's also benefit in having Coach Klanerman as the defense coordinator and a little bit of continuity there since you only had Coach Hazelton for that one year? Oh, for sure. Um, guys, guys will know the defense for another year now and. I just feel like Coach Klanderman, he's just a very, I've said this before and I'll say it again. He's one of the smartest um, coaches I've ever met in my life. So I feel like he'll get us all together and we'll be on, on one accord. Thanks, John. Thank you. Let's go back to Kellis. Hey, John, I know you and Skyler are close. Did you have to recruit him at all to come back or what did those conversations go like? Uh, we had a lot of, we had a lot of conversations and, um, I know it, it was a bad taste in his mouth. Also, you know, he got hurt and that was sick for me to see um, when it first happened, I couldn't believe it. And I actually thought like maybe like when he was down, I'm like, I know he's gonna get up, you know, and I just know how tough he is and how much he's been through. And um, this will be important, a po important year for him. And I'm happy for him to be getting back and healthy. And I just can't wait to see him in 2021. Just overall, what are your thoughts about this whole deal that you 
you you have this opportunity that you can come back and play another year. No one else has ever gotten to do it. it what do you think about it? This is unbelievable. This is a a once in a lifetime thing. Um, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity right now, and and I'm I'm gonna make the the best of it for sure. Thank you, Ryan. Hey, uh, Jerron, I know maybe it's not something that you – at least we – most guys are humble about saying, you know, I don't care about my numbers as long as we win, and et cetera, et cetera. But, I mean, now that – you know, last season ended, how much did it mean to you, you You know, you led the team in tackles? Um, I actually didn't know that I was leading the team in tackles. Um, I don't know if I believe you. That's okay. You sure you don't know that, really? I, I think I think I was, but I, I heard, like, late, you know, late. But uh, it's a big accomplishment as a – you know, personally, everybody wants to, you know, have their goals and their ambitions and things like that. And that was one of the goals that I wrote down on a piece of paper um, at the beginning of fall camp. So that that was a big accomplishment for me. And then, I mean, Kellis kind of touched on with, with Skyler, but were there any other guys you kind of talked with about this this whole sixth season, that, like you and any of the other seniors? Or was it mainly just you and Skyler who kind of talked that through together some? Um, I had I had talks with all the guys. Yeah. Um, we all <laughs> it'd be days where we're like, hey, you know what you're gonna do? And yeah. like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> and it, it it'd be crazy, you know, not too, not too much. We didn't want to stress stress each other out. Well, hey, I appreciate it, but uh, I'll tell you that I know uh, Eli and and J Ball were very big about wanting leading team in tackles. So I guess you can hit them up. Oh, they were. <laughs> yeah, no, they talked about it as that being a big deal to them. So you can give them a hard time. Well, I got this on them. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it. Thank you.